Recently, Lego dove its way into the art world, most recently creating The Wave and Starry Night. And as you know, I love Starry Night. I also really love Lego as a brand and I will always have a soft spot for them because they actually came to my studio and filmed some content with me last year. So I will leave that in the description if you want to watch it. So if you would like to see me struggle and try out all of the art sets by Lego, feel free to like this video. And if we get to like 10,000 likes, I'll try out The Great Wave by Hokusai. Recently, I tried out Timu and something I didn't tell you was that I actually found a cheap set that looks strangely familiar. So today I'm going to be trying out both sets to compare this $20 set I found on Timu to this $170 Lego one. Just to see which one is better. I think we all know which one's going to be better. This is a Lego ideas project. Basically anyone can submit an idea to Lego and if enough people want it to be made, they make it. Now this Lego set is made by stacking thousands upon thousands of Lego pieces together to make those famous brush strokes that Van Gogh is famous for. This is a 2,316 piece set which takes approximately six to seven hours. And when you open up the box, you can see why. Starting off, we have 16 million bags, which I organized. We have the booklet, the instruction manual. It's uh, quite thick. There were a lot of pages. 237 to be exact. little Van Gogh, six pieces down, 2,310 to go. Oh yeah, we made him a little easel too. This took strangely longer than I expected it to and we've not even started the main piece yet. So we're currently at 47 minutes and 58 seconds into this six to seven hour project. And this is what we've done so far, which seems a lot, but then you see this. We have to make this entire wall out of 15 million pieces of Lego. Oh yeah, did I also tell you that I'm building this backwards so that I can get it on camera? Everything I do, I'm having to mirror image. At this point, because we are almost an hour in and I realized I still had a lot left to do, I decided to bring in my brother, the Lego expert, to help. Unfortunately, we realized quite quickly that it's almost an impossible task to help someone with because this project you can only really do one row at a time. And it gets more confusing if more people help since you can only see one page at a time. So it pretty much just ended up me sitting there whilst he built things and handed them to me. Thank you. We got a lot done, but we, oh, well, never mind. So he left for dinner and I continued. When I tell you this is well made, that is an understatement. There are layers upon layers and layers for the layers to make this not just sturdy, but aesthetically pleasing. layers in this. Unbelievable that someone designed this. Like I've never seen a Lego that looks like this. I mean I'm not exactly a Lego connoisseur here but this is so impressive. So we have officially started onto bag number four. We have I think nine total. So yeah let's get started on bag number four. Bag four here we go. Ignore the empty bag of goldfish. Okay, so we're pretty far in now. We're on page 85 and now it wants us to turn it this way. This is part of the background. So it completely changes it and it looks so cool. Okay, moment of truth. We've got to attach these two pieces somehow. So we just connected the two pieces of the foreground and this is how it looks. So friggin' cool. Look at all the layers of this thing. It's, there's so much to it. I'm still unbelievably impressed that this is a thing. I'm about two hours in now and I still have a long way to go. The scary thing is the next few pages look like this. This is gonna be fun. 
my phone decided to reset on me. So now it's back to zero. But last I had it, it was two hours 40. So we're just gonna add this onto that total. So this process actually didn't take quite as long as I was expecting. It took me just over an hour to do the entire wall. And I think a lot of that was just the fact there wasn't anything too fancy, just all regular sized blocks, pretty much. It did make my eyes a little wonky after I'd been looking at it for a while, but it wasn't too bad. The issue I did have was it was literally a thin, tall wall and it was very hard to keep upright, balanced the whole time because it was just very wonky and wobbly. As far as walls go, this is probably the prettiest one that I've seen. Okay, so moment of truth, we have this piece right here and we are going to be attaching this to the back of it. Go. Come on, there we go. <gasps> Look how cool that is! Oh yeah, this is a piece that was missing that did not seem to be in the bag, so it looks a bit weird. Hopefully we can cover that or something. As you can see, a lot of layers. This is how the back looks and this is how many bags we still apparently have left for some reason. This project actually took me so long, I have a new hairstyle now. So, we are almost getting to be somewhat nearly done, still not quite. The overall background part took me just over an hour, which was better than I was expecting. I was hoping it would take me more around half an hour, but you know, we can all dream. But we've attached everything, we actually have so much left because we have to make a frame now. There's like six bags just for the frame. That's what's gonna take a really long time now. So bag number six, here we go. The frame was completely unexpected. Somehow, in the amount of times I've been looking at the picture of this, I did not realize there was actually a frame around it. There were so many pieces that went into making it, but it was very easy in the end to put together because you pretty much just use the same pieces repeatedly until they fit together. This piece I kept knocking off, it was so annoying. But look, it looks so good. Don't ask me why, but this whole thing is held up by one stick. And we are officially onto our last four bags. Woohoo! And this, this is the fun bag. We have all of the pieces of the moon and the stars in here. My dog is being very needy today. My goodness, I love him so much. Oh, gotta kiss his little curly head, he's so cute. So at this point, I was feeling pretty happy. I was about five hours into it overall until I remembered. I haven't done the swells or the tree limb mountain thing at the front. Whilst impressive, the swirl was actually my least favourite thing to put together because it was just a bit weird and didn't really make sense to me until it actually went onto the background. It was very clever though, it sort of used a clever system to make the blocks lie in that swirl shape. be missing a very vital piece that attaches to this one, so it's kind of like a lever, it goes up and down. I am missing the other piece to this. It's nowhere to be seen. I've looked all over the table, all over the floor. It's just not in the kit. Although the one piece missing was a very vital part, so I ended up just sort of placing it in there and hoping it would stay. But look at this so beautiful masterpiece. Lego, you have literally outdone yourself. It looks so pretty. I'm very happy. And last but not least, this tree thing. And just over six hours of work later, we are done. I will say this thing was a little bit of a headache at times, but that's just because I had to film the entire process. So it wasn't like a leisurely activity for me.
Now, here is my overall rating. Ease of putting together, 8 out of 10. Quality, 10 out of 10. Cost, 7 out of 10. Kind of neutral to this because I understand why it's the price it is and you get a lot for your money, but I know it is quite expensive. And this is definitely a treat yourself splurge purchase. Visually, 100,000 out of 10. Okay, so now it's time to try out the Timu and see how it compares. I will say I'm a little nervous about this because I feel like it's going to be a little bit smaller than we're expecting it to be and I just hope that it's not going to be too small because I already had trouble with my nails and the Lego pieces as it was so if these pieces are much smaller I may need a little bit of help. This was a lot cheaper. This was like $20, so I can't expect the same quality. Now, something I didn't notice when ordering this was that it said micro particle. Micro. These are tiny. These things are awful. This is the Lego set. Obviously. This is the base for the version that I found on Timu. They have a piece remover like they do for Lego. So this is the version I found on Timu. And this is the Lego size. I need like a pair of tweezers or something. I mean, in the photo, it seems way bigger than it actually is. And I'm not sure what kind of light that is, but that is clearly very small because this thing is tiny. Look how petite a little Van Gogh is. He's very cute. He's fetus Van Gogh. He's Van Gogh's baby. So I have no idea how many pieces there are in the set because it doesn't tell me and I gave up counting after 400 so I'm gonna go with about 1500 to 2000 pieces. There aren't quite as many bags in here as the Lego sets but there are far more pieces per bag so it's really hard to say just how long this is actually going to take. Now I did want to add the reason why I'm comparing these two is because not only is Van Gogh almost identical along with his canvas, the overall style, the style of the overall piece is more than just a basic flat starry night. It clearly has many similar elements to the first set and it may just be fluke but I feel they were very similar in enough ways for me to compare them. Many of the same types of parts are used and even some of the ways the parts slot in diagonally are quite similar. Now the way this was designed you actually stack it starting from the back instead of the front. This was different to the Lego set of course. Pieces don't fit overly well but they aren't exactly hard to assemble at least they do push on quite easily. This little orange piece included was actually very beneficial to both pick up and put down pieces so I did use it quite a lot. Unfortunately though the directions were very difficult. You start here and then you go here. This one you then presume is this one but it's a completely different row. So you have to start here and then down here. Even though the arrows point downwards you have to do layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. And same here it shows all of the previous layers in grey and you have to basically work upwards. So it's incredibly easy to accidentally keep changing rows like when I'm on this one for example I end up accidentally looking at this one and messing it all up and you don't actually realise you've messed up until you've reached the end of the row and things just aren't lining up. The illustration is terrible too. See that line differentiating this piece from this piece? I'm gonna be flat honest with you now and tell you that this is the worst thing that I have ever done. Like I know this is cheap, but this is the most mundane task because you just feel like you're getting nowhere. It's one of the most unrewarding tasks I've ever done because it's so small that you don't get much like reward for the time you're spending on it. There's nothing for it to grip to. It kind of just sort of places there. So it just, it doesn't, do anything. Luckily for me, there are two people in my family who are Lego experts, my brother and my boyfriend. And since my nails were making it virtually impossible to build this thing and he just got home from work, I got some help. We spent two hours assembling this together and I was getting pretty stressed because it was 10 p.m. These were really small, my nails were getting in the way. I just finished the Lego piece after six hours and he was being very sweet and supportive and took over for me. Let me talk for a little bit. Turns out it wasn't just my nails making it hard, he was having a difficult time as well. So he spent a long time on this helping me whilst I edit this video. His words, this is ridiculous. Lego directions are easy to follow, this is not. Um, that was terrible, I'm sorry. We are now on to bag two. The only reason I know is because there's a very small two at the top. And unfortunately, there are four bags of twos with all of these tiny blocks. They're so tiny. I would think they were cute and adorable if I didn't have to use all of them.
I would just like to put in here the reason why he is helping me so much. I never normally get this kind of help with my videos. Firstly, I think I strained something in my hand or my wrist when I was doing the Lego piece. All of my fingers are so sore. And more than anything, it's been very stressful because we're actually in the process of moving. My parents are also moving and I want to be helping them. I edited all day yesterday. It took me 14 hours to edit up until this point. And I just don't have a lot of time right now. I'll explain it all in a future video, but that's why he is helping me so much. And I really, really appreciate it. None of these colors are matching up at all. None of it's held together. That was my issue yesterday. It just was like floating. So this became increasingly more difficult and more annoying to do. There was one particular part with the tree branch thing, I'm sorry, I really don't know what it is, where we jointly spent 45 minutes trying to figure out this one particular step that just did not illustratively make any sense whatsoever with the bricks we were given. The more we went into this, the more the pieces were missing, the colors were wrong, and overall there were just so many pieces missing that it made it incredibly difficult to do it. You have to keep them lined up as you put them on, and the second layer doesn't like hold the first layer together. So you have like three layers that keep pulling apart because none of them are containing themselves in one. Everything they tell you to do doesn't like hold the rows together. So we decided once we were nine hours into this thing that we would just stop where we were and we would just try to visually make it look as good as we possibly could because we were missing some pretty vital pieces to keep this together. Does it just... I think it's supposed to click in, but oh. these pieces just don't click. The pe they don't. <laughs> Wait, there's some pieces back there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like the picture, doesn't it? I mean, it's missing a couple of pieces. We didn't do but... it, well, yeah, some of these, but... Okay, so after nine hours, and at some points, us both doing it at the same time. So technically, if it had just been me doing it the whole time, it probably would have taken at least 12 hours, and we are giving up. So many pieces are missing, misaligned, just don't make sense. All the instructions on one of the steps in particular for the tree. We were working on it between us for about 45 minutes because it just did not make sense. And this is how it looks. Now this is my personal opinion, this may have just been my set, I can't speak for every other set out there, but we're gonna give this a rating. 2 out of 10 for ease of assembly. This thing was not very easy to put together, some parts were okay once you got going with it, but other parts just didn't make any sense, and I really did not enjoy any of this. For quality, I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10. Clearly it's not going to be the same quality as the previous set, because it's nowhere near the same price, so I don't expect it to be. However, things were definitely not cut as they should have been. Cost, I'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10. Much more affordable, obviously, but you do to an extent get what you pay for. You may really enjoy blocks that are very small like this, but if you prefer regular sized Legos and that's already quite small for you, most likely you would not like this. Visually, I'll give this a six out of 10 because it was missing some spots and clearly it wasn't 100% completed because obviously we stopped early because we were missing so many pieces. But I mean, overall from a distance, it looks pretty good. All opinions expressed in this video are my own. There is no affiliation with either of these brands. These are again, just me stating my opinion and my experience of it. So yes, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.